in the last lecture we created an authorized guard now in this lecture and in next lecture we are going to implement the functionality for this authorized guard so let's go to vs code in here we created this authorized guard and inside that we have this connectivate method and from within this connectivate method currently we are returning true now before we return a boolean value from this connectivate method what we want to do is we want to do three things the first thing is we want to extract the request from this execution context once we have the request from that request we want to extract the jwt the access token from the request header and finally once we have the token the jwt we want to validate that token and based on the validation we want to provide or deny the access all right so in this lecture we are going to implement these two steps and in the next lecture we will write the logic for validating the jwt now in order to extract the request from this context object what we can do is first of all let me go ahead and let me create a variable i'll simply call it as request and in order to extract the request from the execution context on the instance of this execution context we can call a method switch to http and on that method we can call another method get request and this is going to give us the request object so in this way we have the request object now from that request object we want to extract the token from the authorization header now as we learned before after a user has logged in whenever he wants to access a protected route with the request the client has to attach the json web token as the bearer token for the authorization header so as a next step what we are going to do is we are going to extract that json web token from the authorization header and for that what we are going to do is let me create a variable let me call it as token now in order to extract token from the request on the request object we have headers on the headers we will have the authorization header now this authorization header will be there only if the client has specified this authorization header so for example for this request where we are trying to get a user with user id 26 there we are specifying the authorization header but if i open any other request for example get all users for this request i am not specifying any authorization header so in that case this authorization header will be null so here what we are going to do is we are also going to use this optional chaining so if this authorization if it is null then after that we don't want to do anything we will simply set this token to null otherwise if this authorization is not null in that case on that we want to call split method because if the authorization is not null in that case the authorization header will contain a bearer token so basically it will contain a string and that string will start with bearer space and then it will have the actual json web token okay so from this string what we want is we want to read the second substring and this we want to assign to the token we don't want to assign bearer space and then the json web token to this token variable instead we only want to read the actual json web token from that authorization header because as i said the authorization header will start with bearer and after that a space and then it will have the actual json web token so we want to get that json web token and assign it to this token variable so for that here i'm going to split this complete string into multiple substrings and i want to split it using a space and this split method is now going to return us an array in that array the first element will be the bearer okay and the second element will be the actual json web token so here let me put it here so here i am saying as actual json web token but this string will be the json web token so for example it will be this json web token this string value okay so we want to read that json web token from that array and that will be present as the second element 
in the array which the split method will return and to access the second element the index for that second element in the array will be one so after the split i am going to use square brackets and there i am going to specify one which will be the index for the second element and in this way we are going to get the access token so what i'm going to do is for now let's simply go ahead and let's log this token in the console okay let me save the changes let's quickly check the terminal if we have any errors so the application has been built successfully let's go to postman and let's go to this request first get all users where we are not specifying the authorization header if i send the request we have received all the users and if i go to the terminal okay you will not see anything logged here because on that endpoint we are not using the authorized guard so let me also do that let's go to user controller and let me copy this use guard and let's also add it on this get users endpoint okay let me save the changes let's go back to the postman again and let's make the request we should get the response now if i go back to the terminal and if i scroll down you see it is logging undefined so since the authorization header is not present it has logged undefined but if i go to postman and if i make a request to get the user detail with the user id 26 for that endpoint for this request we are specifying the authorization header in that case if i send this request when we are logging the token for some reason it is still logging undefined the reason for that might be that this request should be of type request which we need to import from express okay now here we have this error split does not exist on type string and that's because this should be authorization okay so this request which we are extracting from this context object that request will be of type request and that request we need to import from express and now if i save the changes and let's go back to the postman and now let me make this request so here we have the jwt attached with the request in the authorization header if i send the request i have the response if i go to terminal i should see that json web token but if i go back to get all users request there i am not attaching any jwt with the authorization header in the request so here if i send the request and if we go back to the terminal it should log undefined okay so here we are able to extract the token from the request header now as the next step now we need to validate whether this token is a valid token or not so remember that this token it will be either undefined if the token is not attached with the authorization header or it will store a json web token so we also need to validate that if that json web token is valid or not or it has expired or someone has tempered with it let's do that in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day